Alright everyone, this is Demont THD. Thank you for watching this video. And this will be another paint booth tip or how to or whatever I've been calling them. I forget. Um, so, one big thing that I've always kind of thought was really important, which you guys may have seen in the cars I've put up here on YouTube and whatever else, is that attention to detail for any replicas that you do, any replica makers out there. I know a few of them on YouTube. Uh, Facebook, there's very few of them. The ratio or percentage from replica makers to custom paint scheme makers is probably somewhere around 30% to 70%, so we're definitely outnumbered, but uh, there's still a nice people who, nice amount of people who do it, so. Uh, I see a lot of people, when they make the Nationwide logo, um, go for that Nationwide text right there, and what they like to do is use text 6. And a lot of people do this, and uh, there is obviously a way to custom make it, but some people think that, yeah, it's close enough. And while it is kind of relatively close, it's not really uh, as good as you can get it. And I think if there's some people who are really good and just don't take the extra effort to do one or two little things, and this is for people who kind of just want an idea of, of how to generally do it. That's how I want to run my tutorials on those pages not really just give a spreadsheet that kind of just gives it away dead and just gives what I created to you. I'd rather uh, show you a general process and have you do it yourself and maybe it'll be better. Uh, I'd rather, I believe in that much more than just giving what I do to someone else. You know, And I think a lot of people are like that. They, they make something that they think is good and they don't just want to give it to someone else because it's about the creativity that you can you can get. That's why on my 88 video, I didn't just make a spreadsheet. I kind of just showed you guys a general process of how to do it. I'll, a few tips. Uh, I'm not the best, but uh, I still think that uh, I can definitely help some people. But this is the nationwide text, so we're going to be going over the eagle and the text in this video. But this is the text, so uh, I did it all in one brush, did it kind of small so I can fit it all in there. Um, now, some things I didn't do custom, like the N, that's it. that's text 6. Uh, I did some letters text 6, but I used the text 2A and edited the crap out of that text 2A because <laughs> it looks way different. There's the text 2A and there's this A. They look completely different. Uh, you can see uh, just a lot of half circles here. Um, so I guess I want to take it letter by letter. Uh, yeah, the N was obviously text 6. Just place that kind of... Because your first letter, the way you place it, obviously kind of shapes how you're going to size the rest of your logo. Uh, the A is obviously um, uh, text 2, and then I just edited it. Um, I put a weird, I think that's a teardrop in there, right in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> right in the middle there. Um, and then the top is just sort of like a half circle, uh, and then a black half circle right in the middle of there. And then I kind of cut it off with a black square right there at the edge. Uh, the T is kind of the same thing. The T is pretty easy. It's just a, a square and then a different square making your T, obviously. And then I put a, a half circle down here to get that curve. And then another half circle right, it's the black half circle right there. And just cut it off like I did with the A up here at the top of the A. I did that the same here with the T. That's how you're going to get most of your curve. Uh, the rest, after the... The A and the T are honestly the only two difficult letters. The rest is really a walk in the park. Maybe the N is going to be a little tricky, maybe the E. But uh, the I, obviously, a square and a circle. Um, I believe it's just way too complex for me to go over. Uh, and if you can't tell I'm joking right now, then... Uh, okay. So, the A, uh, the O is... Uh, getting my vowels mixed up here. The O is just obviously a, a, a white circle, a, a darker circle. Uh, and the N, this is a little bit tricky... Um, I used, I'm going to show you what I used. Obviously, I started with a square right there in the beginning. That Obviously, the square right here that goes up and down. And I used this uh, decal. I can't show you how I did it, but this is this one. I just rotated it, so it's like, I just basically took it and went like this. Boom. So it's facing up. And uh, I placed one so it looks like this. Obviously, just straight. And then I stamped and then moved another one up and skewed it so you have that sort of up angle. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, but yeah, you just, you just use that decal, you rotate it so it's straight just like your square you use here. Uh, 
and then you stamp it, obviously, and then you stamp it again and then sort of angle it up so you have that sort of up flare right there. And then the inside is just the same thing. It's just a angled, angled up little whatever it's called. <laughs> the W is also uh, in-game. It's text 6. So the N and the W are text 6. The I just stamped the square, moved it, moved it right over. That's another tip. If you have multiple letters in a text or the same like that and you don't want to like do them all over again or you want to just make sure they're the exact same. All you do is just go to the layers. I think a lot of people probably get this, but just in case, you just go over to the layers and move it right over like that. The D is just a circle and then a square at the end. It's just a circle with a, obviously the black circle inside. It's basically the O with a square at the end of it. And then the E is a circle with one half circle, two half circles, and then a square right there at the end. And then another square to kind of cut it off at that diagonal angle. Um, that's about the best I can do to describe this text because I didn't show you guys how I did it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or anywhere you're seeing this video. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the other part of this nationwide logo, which is the eagle. There's also the small little thin text, which I actually don't have anymore. Um, but I don't like that anyways, so I'm going to redo it. <laughs> which is kind of good. I don't know. Yeah, moving on <laughs> to the uh, eagle. I don't think this was too hard. It's just a little tricky. Uh, it'd be great if I could there it is. I bet a lot of people probably found it before I did. Um, so yeah, it looks a little weird in this brush right now. A little, little weird. Um, so this is set for his new car he's running this weekend. It's 2015. If you can't tell, um, he's running it at the 500. Not the 500, I'm sorry. The other Daytona race, the night race. Some flag car he made. Why am I not? No, he didn't make it, obviously. His designers did. Or whoever makes the paint schemes over there. They made a flag car, long story, it's great. Anyways, he has a nationwide eagle on the hood. So, uh, let's get to it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, so just in case, we're gonna... We're just gonna throw a black square behind everything, just so you guys can see it better. And while I'm doing this, I'll talk about something. Um, so, yeah, deflate gate. Or anything else that's happening right now that's big, you guys can... Uh, write a book about it or do something. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about right now at, at all, but here we go. We're going to enlarge this big black square. Uh, and you can see, obviously, it's easier to see. We start off with this uh, text 6N. It's in game. And what I did is I added two squares to the little ends to make the this part thicker because the text 6 isn't exact, but it's almost exact. We just had to add two squares here to make this a little thicker. Uh, one, and then obviously two. So what this bird is, and you can tell the feathers aren't exact, um, all you really, really need, because it's on the hood, so it's not like, it doesn't need to be exactly perfect, but all you need to do make sure is that there's two feathers sticking up here. On the top of the end, you want one, two. If you have those, you're pretty much good. You don't need to worry about how many feathers there are or anything like that. You want them to generally start off and then flare in. And uh, they're not exactly level, but... Trust me, if there if there's any if there's any area for them to not be level, is exactly right here. And I didn't purposely make them unlevel, but it just kinda happened like that, so um yeah, these are just half circles. We'll start with the feathers. Those are just ha everything here is just half circles. I added an outline, it's pretty easy. Uh this little thing right here, this blue half circle, is supposed to be a curve that I forgot to color block, so don't worry about that. But that's just a half circle too. This is this, I just added a big line square or half circle, however you want to do this one. Uh, then a little half circle right here. I just drew this in with half circles. Um, that's supposed to be covered right now. I don't know why that's not covered. It's supposed to be white over that. I put that on the car, that's why. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's like, it's a throw together. I used to have a really good one, and then I made this one afterwards because I accidentally deleted it because I didn't think I needed it anymore, and it was just such a throw together. Um, but yeah, this is just, all it does is really half circles, this big half circle here, a couple of half circles at the ends, uh, you just gotta manage how you carve them out, uh, those, it's just literally just half circles over here, I put a blue half circle on the inside here for the eye, uh, the nationwide text is definitely harder than this, but both are kind of tricky, so, um, that's really all you need, so, 
Um, let me know how this went for you guys. And I hope it goes good. <laughs> and good luck. You guys have a good one.